absolutely thank you so wonderful. much. I'm, thank you. I'm, can you play some more? Can we just, oh, let's skip gosh. the interview. Let's just go back to the music. I'll have to check with my agent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. You know, I'm going to head up to Hoot Night <clears throat> next week. I just can't wait. You and should. I, I'll you get bring to a play ukulele. There. He hosts an open mic. Absolutely. Uh, and Bethel at the Suds Pub uh, on Thursday nights. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's a good time. And um, It is a good time. I'm looking forward to going up there. And um, uh, we, were, we left off talking about your CD before your, your set. Um, I have uh, uh, just a few questions. Um, where did you record the CD? Is it recorded in many places? or? In yes, as a matter place? of fact, it is. I own a little um, Fostex uh, four-channel hard drive little digital recorder that cool. I still can't quite work yet. But I've got it down enough where I can record. In fact, all the vocals on the uh, CD excuse me, and all the acoustic guitar parts were actually recorded right in my bedroom. Some of them were recorded, because it's so little, I can take it with me, some of them were recorded on Vinyl Haven Island. Wow. Some of them were recorded on Monhegan Island. Wow. Some of them were recorded down in um, Bitterford Pool. Um, those are places where I have friends who open their their summer cottages or whatever up to me and That's say, Denny, so bring your fun. stuff down. It is. So you know? much fun. For yeah. me, there's nothing like being... And the quality of the recording equipment today is so wonderful. <sighs> you can get top-notch quality It is, it is. And, and, and it's, <laughs> it's awesome to be able to absorb all of the beauty that you see and then While try to translate recording. that exactly. into your... Exactly, and I did hear that, that in works, your songs, works especially yeah. in the jewel of Camden Harbor. Oh, yeah, I love that's called that. the Grace Bailey. Grace yeah, isn't Bailey. That? Such a beautiful, beautiful song. The imagery in that song. Thanks. I, I uh, hope you felt like you were there. It took me there. Good. It took that's me what there. I tried to and do. I just, I was <sighs> sighing while you were playing that. It was just really a wonderful it's song. Beautiful. And Maine, um, the ocean of the coast of Maine, there's nothing like it. Oh, uh, you, you know, since you I was a little that. kid, I've either been on the beach, on the ocean, in the ocean, under the ocean. <laughs> Uh, yeah. school, you Have know, you played on many boats or cruises? No, actually, uh, no. that was uh, that was a serendipitous thing where a good friend of mine uh, was supposed to do it, couldn't do it. Mm. Um, they called my manager for some, because we're all kind of related through her. Mm -hmm. And she said, Denny, are you doing anything? Uh, there's a chance to go on. A, are you interested in doing a cruise, a sailing cruise on an old, uh, old wind jammer? And... Uh, I had never done that, so of course I left it, uh, you know. Yeah. Jumped. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. What a challenge. Yeah. And what a beautiful yeah. challenge. It was beautiful. It really um, was. Your songs are definitely have the main flavor. Um, bad Habits, um, Pot Roast, you know. Just, these, these are main yeah. songs for sure. Uh, Missing You, that, that touches the romantic. And uh, Yeah, well, you know, I think uh, ten musicians tend to be maybe on the tender side of things and and uh, we don't let it show maybe often enough and but we, I just wanted my music. wife to know that I really really <laughs> missed her and, and it's not the same going without her now that's the one that's on your CD it is yeah which is the most unlikely of all the songs on a CD because mm -hmm. the CD is basically country with uh, I mean full boat you know pedal yeah. steel yeah. fiddles drums bass ask, pianos who's on there besides harmonicas you? Um, t Fred Tommy Thompson, another uh, member of the Hall of Fame, been doing all the family shows with me over the years. Um, Tom Ziccarelli, uh, Jim uh, McLaughlin are two members of my trio up in the Bethel area. Um, let's see, I had Ed Howe, fiddle player for Dave Rowe Trio, uh, was uh, uh, on the album. Uh, let's see, uh, at least me not forget Bob, Bob Caldwell from uh, the Boneheads played a few, oh, yes. played a few tunes yes, on it. Yes. And as a matter of fact, yes. Uh, the finishing of the CD was done at his studio. No kidding. Yes, it was. Yeah. And, uh, geez, we had a ball. Just, uh, yeah. You I know, and, and the cool thing about this CD was is the fact that most of the time you go in and you do your rhythm section first, your bass. Mm -hmm. Frank Coffin also played bass on Can't Forget Frank. Okay. Um, he, uh, normally you go in, you do the guitar, the bass, the drums. You do that as a block. And this time, the way it worked out, I had my guitar parts, my vocals done, brought that into the studio, oh, okay. dumped it into the program, and then we added, added bass, layer, and then we added drums, and then we layer, added, and you layer. know, usually you don't do yeah. it that way. So yeah. there's it's a couple of things that are you can do maybe it. a little uh, <laughs> less than as good as it's I would have liked them, but, but it's you got to let it go at it's some point. Fun too. You know.
Um, I could talk on and on about how that, my experience with adding layers like that, and my, my drummer amazed me. Also that, letting go. I mean, you, you yeah. listen to it, and you listen to it, and you go, oh, I could do that better. And I, at some point, you just have to say, can, move on. That's it. You know? <laughs> you just have that's to move it. on. Now, some so. of your accomplishments, um, you, you teach private lessons? I do. I yeah. do do some. Uh, you know, very, <clears throat> uh, very few private lessons. Uh, I teach up at Gould Academy. Um, oh, nice. To the, the, the kids up there, there are quite a few guitar players that are up there. And yeah. And um, I do that, and once in a while I'll have a, an occasional student that I'll take on. But most of yeah. the time I'm so busy. A very fortunate student. <laughs> you know, <laughs> most of the time I'm, I'm traveling so much that. Uh, I know. Let's put it this way. While I can still play, I want to play as much as I can. And when, as I say in a song, my rambling days are through, <laughs> then I want to <laughs> sit down and teach. At that point, I'll become At a full-time teacher yeah, yeah. and play very little. Yeah. But and I just want to mention that all of the information that you're hearing today and the information on Denny's CD, upcoming CD, um, are on his website, uh, which is dennybro.com. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions for Denny, I'm sure he'll accept oh, emails. Oh, yeah, please, please email me. Email me. I'd love to talk with you. <laughs> um, Absolutely. And also his history and his bio is there. Now, you, you've been probably with, I know you've played everywhere, and, and you have quite a uh, schedule ahead of you as well. Um, but some of the, the bands that you've played in, um, including your own trio, which is comprised of your wife and... Um, Frank Coffin on the Frank bass. Frank Coffin yep. on the bass. That's, your wife plays flute. You know, that's, that's not really a trio. That's kind okay. of something we do um, <laughs> once or twice a year. Really? And it happened serendipitous where I was okay. doing a show and I included Frank and my wife happened to be there. And I said, honey, get your flute and come on up. Nice. And they loved it and they... Uh, Poland Spring, the, uh, okay. the, the uh, so you have your anniversary concerts have. that you basically put on that's, that's what it is, and I would love to do more, but time just doesn't allow yeah, it. So Frank's got his own solo. band, I got my own band. Yeah, Anne's busy teaching the kids. And Isn't it easy to be solo? You have less less you know, people to worry about. I found that you that there. over the years, uh, solo is lonely, <laughs> but it's also, as you said, a lot easier. Mm. Less egos to deal with. Yeah. Um, Trying to get everybody on the same page can be really right, hard. And right. the biggest thing, if you're going to be a full-time musician like myself, mm -hmm. is the money aspect of it. True. You know, you, you make more money when you buy yourself. You know, <laughs> I and, wanted to mention, though, that I do you, this full -time, you, so. you have a long-term history with Turkey Hollow. Yes. With Dave Rowe and yep. his, um, his the late Tom Rowe, yep. who passed away. And how long were you with Turkey Hollow? Gee, I think we were together close to six years. I think we were, you know, That's trying to. a long to, time. It was. It was, uh, wasn't long enough. I bet. I can tell yeah. you that. You know, yeah. I miss Tom dearly, and, yeah. and uh, things have sure changed yeah. um, since then. Yeah. You know? But uh, Tom has always been a dear friend ever since we we met at Walton School. He was playing in a... <laughs> I see that. I see was, that uh, smile. I see that he, twinkle, uh, twinkle well, he in was, your eye when you talk of he him. He was playing, uh, playing in a band called the Chord Majority oh. at the Sadie Hawkins dance in my ninth year of school, and I thought I'd let him know that I really enjoyed them, but I said, you know, you guys need a guitar player. <laughs> and Tom Rowe said, oh, we do, huh? He said, play, and I played for him, and he said, want to join a band? <laughs> <laughs> that's 